hello everyone and welcome back in another video about subnetting in this video we talk about uh, how to create subnets for a given ip in the previous video uh, we discussed how to find the solution for the question which asks how many subnets you can create uh, from a given ip but in this video uh, we will talk about how to create uh, X number of subnets for a given IP. For example, it may ask you create five subnets for this IP, or create the six subnets for this IP, or etc. So, uh, before we get started, I'd like to have a quick review about subnet mask formats because we will need it in this video. In most cases, uh, it gives the subnet mask in CIDR format, which will be written like this. For example, 8, 10, 12, 24, whatever. And uh, sometimes you have a decimal uh, format, which is very common to everybody, like this. And the third uh, format of subnet mask is the binary format, which is written like this. As you know, each subnet mask consists of 4 octet 1, 2, 3, 4. Each octet consists of 8 bits. If all the bits are on, it means you have 255 decimal. How we get this 255 uh, from these uh, bits, from calculating these bits, 128 plus 64 plus 32 and so on, you get 255. For example, if I uh, have two of these bits on, like this, uh, how what number we get we have to get 128 plus 64 it means we have 192 so the decimal will be 192 255 192 255 because all the uh, bits are on and this one because two of them are on we calculate 128 plus 64 we get 192 and the cider will be changed because we have 8 and 2 bits on, so this will be changed to 10. In today's video, we have two examples. Uh, the first one create three subnets for this IP, which have a subnet mask 24. And the second one, same IP address, but the subnet mask is different. Uh, and it asks to create three subnets for this IP address. In order to uh, answer these questions, we have five easy steps. And uh, the first one is says convert your subnet to binary. That that subnet mask we have to convert it to binary, and then we have to find how many bits you need to turn it on. So let's go through the steps and see how we do it. This is the example number one: create three subnets for this IP address with that subnet mask. As I said, the first step is uh, converting your subnet to binary. We have 4 octet, so we have to turn on 24 bits. We have 8 here, 8 here, 8 here. So let's do it. Uh, the first octet will be like this, which is 8 bits is on. And the second octet and the third octet. And if we calculate 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24. This 24 is that one which is given in the example. The second step is find out how many bits you need to turn on. Because in the question ask you create three subnets, so we need three subnets. <clears throat> in this case, two power something it should be equal or bigger than three. So we have to two power two will equals uh, four. So in this case, we need two bits to be turned on from that the subnet mask. So uh, we have the subnet mask. We need to turn on two bits from the last octet. Like this, we turn it on uh, two bits from the last octet. The third step is convert the new binary to decimal. This is the new binary. We have to convert it to the, to the decimal format. How we do this because we turn it two of them 128 plus 64 uh, equals 192 so the new 
uh, subnet mask in decimal format will be 255.255.255.192 or 26 in the CIDR format. Now let's go to the uh, step number four. We have to find the jumps between the networks. So this is our new subnet mask. We have to find the jumps in the network between the that four network which we get it from that uh, IP address. So we have to have uh, 256 minus 192. This 192 is that subnet mask. 256 we can call it the magic number equals 64. So the steps in the or the jumps in the network will be uh, uh, will start from zero. Then the second network will start uh, from 64, which is which we get it from here. And the third network, 64 plus 64, 128. And the fourth network is 128 plus 64 will equal 192. And 192 plus 64 equals 256. So uh, this is the jumps in the IP or the network. Uh, we get it from this uh, IP address. So let's write the uh, uh, the IP for your network as the last step. So I create uh, a table like this. In the first column, we have the first IP in the network. In the second one, broadcast IP. As you know, the first IP in the network and broadcast IP is not usable and not broadcasted to the hostess. So uh, I created uh, two other columns for the first usable IP and the last usable IP. Uh, so the first IP address will be zero. So the, the, our original IP address is this. So we put 10.0.0.0. Uh, as you notice, the last octet is in red. So the changes in the IP will be in the last octet. Why? Because in our subnet mask, we turn it on the IPs or the bits in the last octet. So the changes in the IP will be in the last octet. Uh, this is the first IP in the network. So the broadcast IP, which is the largest possible IP address in the network, will be uh, the 63. 1 minus the second IP in the network, like this, 10.0.0.63. And the first usable IP and last usable IP will be IPs between these two IPs. So we, uh, we put or we add one IP to this IP. It will be 1. And uh, for the last usable IP, we, uh, we reduce one number from 63, which means 62. So this is the usable IP for the first network. The second network, uh, we have this IP address. So the, the second network IP address will start with this IP, like this. And the last IP or the broadcast IP will be 128 minus 1, 127. And because this is two IP is not usable, we get uh, another IP. 10.0.0.65 as the first usable IP and 126 as the last usable IP. And for the third network, same like this, we bring the third number, the third jump, and we put it here. And the last or broadcast IP will be 192 minus 1. And the usable IP will be between these two numbers as below. This is the answer of our question and you can keep going and put the last uh, network IP like this. We get this number and uh, one minus this number will be the last uh, IP in the network and the usable IP will be between these two IPs. Uh, this is our example number two. Uh, it asks to create uh, three subnets from the same IP but a different subnet mask. Uh, as the first step, we have to convert your subnet to binary. So we have to turn on eight bits from this subnet mask. So like this. So we have turned on eight octet, which means uh, 
which become like this and the second step is let's find how many bits need to be turned on uh, in this subnet mask because it asks to create three subnets in this case you have to find the number which is equal and greater than three uh, same like the first uh, example we need two bits to turn it on so we have to turn on two bits this time in the second octet not in the last octet like this so we turn on two octets in the second octet we turn on two bits in the second octet so our work will be on the second octet so let's convert this uh, binary to decimal as a third step like this 128 plus 64 we get 192 so the subnet mask will be 255.192.0.0 or 10 and now let's find the jumps in the network we have this subnet mask we have the magic number 256 minus this new subnet mask equals 64 so 64 will be the jumps in the network so the first uh, network ip will start with zero and the second uh, network ip will be 64 then 64 plus 64 equals 128 128 plus 64 equals 192 192 plus 64 equals 256 so these these are the jumps in the network so let's write the ips in a table so the first ip will be zero so we get our original ip we put it here and as you notice this time i highlighted the second octet so these all ips we put them in this octet and the rest will be the host so the second or the last uh, uh, broadcast IP or last IP address in the network will be 10.64 minus 163 and the other two we put it 255.255 like this and the usable IP will be one IP plus to this IP 10.0.0.1 and for the last usable ip we we remove one ip from this one and we get 10.63.255.254 for the second uh, network ip we put this 64 in the second octet like this so 10.64.0.0 and the last ip in the second network will be uh, 10 dot 128 minus 1 127 and the other two zero we put two five five two five five like this and the ip between these two will be the usable ip like this and for the third network same like this we get this number and put it here and uh, for the last ip we get one ip before this like this and the ip between these two ip will be the usable ip for the last network same as before we put like this and this is will be the usable ip between these two numbers i hope i was able to clarify this question uh, thank you for watching see you in the next video